Hello, what's up? Once again, this is Ali for another PS3 exploit tutorial. Uh, and this time we are going to show you how uh, to use uh, this alternate host to activate our hand. Well, on our last video, unfortunately, we didn't have uh, a spare PS3 to install hybrid firmware for us to show uh, how to use uh, this alternate host. That is why we have actually received a lot of questions how to use uh, this or that or where to download this or that. So on this video, we are going to show you all of this stuff, uh, how to download or where to download the the uh, hybrid firmware the latest hybrid firmware and how to install them and where and how to use uh, this alternate host to know more about this in use i will post a link of uh, their official website on our description so you can uh, read more and know more about uh, this uh, or about what is really happening on our psd exploiting but if ever we can extend a hand uh, they definitely need our help for donations uh, for them uh, to continue their work because they are definitely doing a very good job uh, you know to provide us all of our psd exploit uh, needs so let us uh, go ahead and proceed with our video first we are going to download the hybrid firmware that install them and use uh, this alternate host for this video we are going to need uh, two files uh, hybrid firmware and uh, the multiman both links can be found on our description for the hybrid firmware you can go ahead and uh, scroll down a little to know more about uh, this uh, firmware and uh, to download the file just click on download click on this one and download anyway let us just go ahead and save them on our desktop and uh, for the multiman just scroll down a little and uh, we go ahead and download the multiman base and click on this link and again save them on our desktop after downloading the file let's go ahead and install them to our ps3 for the multiman we have to transfer this on the root of our hard drive or usb just make sure that it is formatted to fat32 for the hybrid firmware, we have uh, to extract this. Right click and extract. And on the extracted folder, we're going to see this file. To install this on our PS3, first we need to create a folder PS3. Then inside the folder PS3, we have to create another folder update. And inside the, this folder, we are going to place our hybrid firmware. But since I have already uh, transferred this one, I no longer need to transfer this. Just make sure that the file name is like this one ps3updat.pup just make sure that your file name is exactly like this or your ps3 won't recognize the update and after we have prepared everything let us go ahead and go back to our ps3 going back on the ps3 we have to make sure our usb is being recognized by the ps3 we know that if we can see the usb icon here on the music or the video or the photos so once it has been recognized, we can go to the system update and update via system storage. And you will see here the update file that is on our USB. You have to make sure that we have the correct firmware before we press OK. Then just follow this whole procedure and click on start and wait for the whole update process to complete. Once the update has been completed, your PS3 will restart and it is now time to install our hand. But uh, it is uh, very advisable to install uh, the hybrid firmware twice before we can proceed on installing hand. Then to prepare for the installation of hand, we have uh, to make sure that our PS3 is connected to our internet. On uh, your internet connection settings, you can choose here whatever connection you are using, whether a wireless or a wired connection. But for now, let us just uh, use our wireless. Then on the internet connection test, uh, it should uh, see the. Once we have established an internet connection, we can now go to the browser and prepare for the installation of the hand. Here on the internet browser, there are still some couple of stuff we need to do for the preparation. Press triangle to access the tools. Then on the confirm close browser, choose off. Then on the uh, back to tools on the home page, click on use blank, then OK. Then back to tools and uh, delete all of uh, the uh, options that has a uh, delete on them. Then exit the internet browser and enter again. From here, we can now use uh, one of uh, the alternate hosts that we are going to show. 
first uh, let us go ahead and uh, choose uh, the most basic alternate host available for us right now so just press start and press l1 in square to clear the address and enter this uh, following address and press start and here on this page uh, this will initialize uh, for the installation of the hen so sometimes it will succeed and sometimes it will fail to increase uh, the success rate here's what you can do press triangle then go to tools and on the home page uh, click on use current then we can exit this and re-enter our internet browser and it will go straight to the installation or to the initialization of the hand. And again, let us just wait for this whole process. Now, once you are on this part, we just have uh, to make sure to follow these steps. So first, we have to close the browser and open remote play and quit immediately. Then go to the remote play and quit immediately. And we should see here the icon install hen. We can use this to install our hen on this PS3. So just uh, click on install. After the download, it will automatically install. And uh, after the installation, you have a successfully installed hand. But just go back to the remote play and exit one more time uh, to show the icons. From here, you may complete your hand by installing some homebrews. But uh, let me just go ahead and show you another alternate host that we can use to activate our HEN. Let us go back to the internet browser, press start, and enter this following address. And you will just have to do exactly what we did on the last alternate host. But the best thing on this host is that it offers a lot of extra features even compared to the original PS3 exploit host. After the installation, you may now go ahead and enable HEN. Once enabled, you will notice that this host also comes with Webman. And to those who are not yet aware, Webman also comes with a lot of extra stuff for our PS3. That includes Control Fan. And you may also monitor the status of your PS3 by pressing start and select at the same time on the XMD. That's it for our video. We'll try to cover more stuff from this alternate post on our next PX3 Explore tutorial. And once again, this is Ali. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, uh, just leave them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.